Hi there, I'm Andrew Nichols. I'm a developer at Lunds Limited. Uh, I just wanted to share some of the changes that we've been working on recently in Moodle 2. Uh, my colleague Russell and I have been working on updating the JavaScript which generates this set of icons here. Um, these two icons here and the drag and drop um, for sections and activities. So we've completely rewritten all of this JavaScript. Um, it was originally written in uh, using UE2 and we've updated it to use the latest UE3 libraries available in Moodle. Um, for the most part it, it acts exactly as it did before, so things like the indent left and indent right uh, perform exactly as it did before. The delete um, prompt works bef as before, as does the show and hide on both the sections and the activities, and also the highlight button. The big changes that we've been working on, Rosalind's completely rewritten this drag and drop infrastructure, so it's a lot less buggy than it was before. Um, I think it works a lot better. Um, it just doesn't seem to drop things in the wrong place anywhere near as often. In fact, I haven't yet managed to get it to do so. Um, we've also simplified the code heavily and extended it to work properly with sections like this. So you can easily drag and drop sections, and that uses pretty much the same code, so we've simplified a lot of the code. And we're hoping to uh, finish the code to drag and drop blocks from left to the right and up and down, uh, which has been missing since Moodle 1.9. The other change that I've been looking at, um, I've made a quick typo, maybe on purpose, uh, on this glossary, um, and traditionally in Moodle 2 and Moodle 1.9, you'd have to use the update button to go into the activity to update it. Um, so for uh, most of the activities in Moodle 2, you can click this edit title button, which hasn't yet got an item hasn't yet got an icon and you can just make changes in there and that will update um, both on the interface and obviously in the back end so when we hit refresh we've still got that corrected um, so that's most of the changes that we've been working on with regards to uh, this JavaScript there's a few more still to come um, but we wanted to share these with you so far thanks for listening